Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. The nation is understandably focused on guns and school shootings, and this 10-year-old boy paraded in front of the media after cops say he sent threatening messages to another student is caught right in the middle. He is still in custody, and though his dad says he doesn't deny that the little boy talked of guns, he says it was the stupid humor of a child. And now he's speaking exclusively with Inside Edition. The video was jarring. A 10-year-old Florida boy marched in front of photographers as he's taken away in handcuffs. Then came this, a shocking mugshot, unblurred despite his age. The reason? Sending what cops say were threatening messages just four days after the Uvalde, Texas school massacre. According to the police report, Daniel Marquez, a fifth grader, sent a Google image of four assault rifles to a friend and texted, I bought this followed by another text, get ready for water day, an upcoming gathering for students with good grades. The other boy's father contacted police and within hours, the 10 year old was in cuffs and his mugshot broadcast around the world. To me, heartbreaking and, and, and very confusing. Derek Marquez, an army veteran, is the 10 year old's father and he's speaking day, out to Inside Edition. After 11 days, his son is still in custody at a juvenile detention center near Naples, Florida. Your son, is he a troublemaker? Does he have any kind of history of making threats? He's never been in trouble. He's never had any type of disciplinary action, not even in school. Do you understand, does Daniel understand that sending these messages after what we saw in Texas just seems like a huge mistake? I don't think Daniel really understood the, the, the gravity of the situation. The local sheriff, Carmine Marceno, is defending his hardline response. He says he released the mugshot, even though Daniel is a minor, to send a clear message. Do you stand by this arrest? 100% uh, I stand behind this arrest. I say, well, as a sheriff, Fab, it's a 10 year old, you know, come on, it's a 10 year old. And I, I don't look into that threat, okay? And next thing I know, God forbid, there's a mass shooting. God forbid he commits a tragic act. You and I are talking on a much different place and it's all my fault. Letitia Kim is the boy's attorney. What was done by Sheriff Marcino was part of his larger political agenda. He has made it clear that he is the law and order sheriff. What we have here is fake law and order and real consequences to defenseless children such as Daniel. Meanwhile, Congress held hearings today on gun violence and the Uvalde massacre, including videotaped testimony from survivor Maya Cerillo. She says she smeared blood on her face and played dead. I I thought he was going to come back to the room, so I grabbed the blood and I put it all over me. The United States Attorney General today announced an independent investigation into the delayed police response in Uvalde.